It's not going to boot. Okay, so your Nexus 7 will not boot up at all. Just it will not. I rebooted in the recovery, I wiped the cache and the Delva cache, and it still just absolutely refuses to boot. So what can you do? Well, you're in luck. If you're seeing this, then you're probably okay. If you can get into custom recovery, then there is absolutely nothing to fear. If you hold down the power button for approximately 10 seconds, it will force the tablet to power down and restart. And if you see like this, and then you see the little, come on, hurry up, show it. If you see the, this little thing right here, and it just does this until your battery dies, you're soft bricked. You're stuck in a boot loop. And this video is going to show you how to easily, I mean easily, get out of this. The one downside is that if you're seeing this, more than likely there's no chance you're ever going to get back into the installation that you had. Meaning, if you had any apps that you got real far on, you probably just lost those. What you could do, and this is just completely up to you, is you could reboot into recovery, you could back up your ROM, and then when you wipe and you install a new ROM, or you do a factory reset, you can use Titanium Backup, you can navigate to where your clockwork mod or your torp recovery backups are, and you can individually pick out apps that you want to restore. That's just a worst case scenario. I'm not saying do that because whatever app that caused it to do this, like whatever is causing it to boot loop and not ever boot up, you might be restoring that. But like, if you got really far, I guess you could try like, you know, freshly install the ROM and then you could go to the Titanium Backup, you could extract your twerp folder or your twerp backup and then you can restore that app you could try that if you want that's just a you know whatever now i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this now i've been gone for a minute trying to find my otg cable my thing and it's still trying to boot up like this thing is quite warm actually and you know it's gonna frankly it's gonna keep doing this until it dies so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold down all three of these buttons for a good minute or about maybe 15 seconds just keep holding it and keep holding and keep holding until you see something that you've probably never seen before or haven't seen in a while the bootloader so you're just going to press volume down volume down and then when you see recovery mode hit power and that'll get us you into your torp recovery if you can still boot into torp recovery and you see this screen right here then you are not bricked. You are soft bricked, you are stuck in a boot loop, but it's really, really easy to fix it. So you can go to backup and you can uncheck this, uncheck that, just have that checked. I, I just, um, do yourself a favor and don't back up anything else but your data, simply because of the fact that you're stuck in a boot loop and there's no need to back up anything else. Now, I'm not going to back it up on to the internal storage simply because this device only has internal storage and if I wipe or do anything, I don't want to lose that data. So I'm going to plug in this little USB OTG cable. I can put links in the description to these. They're like a couple dollars, not expensive and very, very, very handy. So on the storage, we're going to press that. We're going to choose USB OTG. We're going to back out and I'm gonna go ahead and enable compression to make the file size smaller. And that's about it. Just the data so we can restore the apps that we need. Um, and then swipe to back up. Now this will take a minute and there's a little timer. Like right now it says it's 4.27 p.m. That is not true because my daughter would be home from school by then. <laughs> so we'll be back when this is done. Do not panic if the screen turns off while you're doing a backup or while you're wiping or installing a ROM or whatever you're doing in recovery. Don't panic. It's a feature of Torp Recovery simply because if you have it on one screen for too long, some devices can see burn in. Like when you reboot or when you do something else, you'll still see a picture, like a ghost image of it. So just tap on the screen and it's just right there. Swipe to unlock. It's that simple. By the way, just a quick heads up, if you do this factory reset, like I said, you're going to lose your apps, 
you're gonna lose your progress, you're gonna lose all of that. So that's why hopefully when I back up this data, hopefully there'll be some apps that we can still save and restore. All right, so the backup is done. We're not gonna reboot it this time. Uh, one thing I recommend doing when you're in the backup and you're in a compression, also set the backup name. Like I would have done Nexus 7 boot loop. That way you know when you're going to restore the stuff that which one it was. So we're gonna go to wipe and we're gonna do wipe to factory reset. And then we're gonna press back, back, reboot system. And hopefully it'll boot up and we won't get be in the stuck in a boot loop anymore. This should fix it. If it doesn't fix it, then returning your Nexus 7 back to stock will fix that. I have a video on how to flash your Nexus 7 back to stock. And it's really, really simple. Just go to the link in the description and it'll show you how to flash your Nexus 7 back to stock. That is if the factory reset doesn't do it for you and you're still stuck in the boot loop. If the factory reset works, then there's no need to to flash your Nexus 7 stock. Check that out. Check that out. So, tablet's working just fine. We can sign into our Google Play account and we can download apps and etc. Let me go ahead and set all this up real quick. All right, sick. So, we're restoring our Google Play stuff and the tablet's working again. This video was a success. This, again, this video shows you how to unbrick your Nexus 7 if you're stuck in a boot loop or, you know, whatever reason if you can't get into your normal environment like the home screens, and etc. I'm sure you know this, but to do to continue backup stuff, you got to go here. And you'll notice you have no developer options. Just go to About Tablet. Go to your build number. Keep tapping on it. One more time. What the heck? All right, so we go back and now there's developer options. We can go to USB debugging. It is enabled. If it wasn't, you just check it and press OK. Verify apps over USB. And also to prevent any other further like errors or whatever, um, we'll just go to settings real quick and we'll go to security right here. And I personally uncheck verify apps and check unknown sources and press OK. That's what I do. And now just need backup will give you the least amount of trouble. All right, after more trouble than the average person would have gone through, I have successfully done it. We open Titania Backup and we go to Menu and then we go to Extract from Android Backup. There's our tort folder right there and we can go on here and we can pick out certain apps that we want to back up and restore. And it looks like none of them are showing up. Well, if any show up for you, you can press data or app only or app and data and you can choose the ones you want and you can restore them. This video was how to come back from a soft brick where you're seeing the Android is upgrading, starting apps, or you're not seeing that but you're just seeing the little boot logo over and over and over and over and over again. So if you enjoyed this video and it helped you get out of a boot loop, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I got many videos coming very soon. I'm gonna be installing SignageMod 10.1 on this device immediately and doing a separate video on that. So please subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.